So Union sent me this biometric gun safe for pistols. So I just want to do a quick unboxing and give my first impressions of this. So the first thing on top is going to be this styrofoam pit that just comes right off. And underneath that, we're going to have this baggie, which is going to give us the instructions and also some keys. And right here is going to be the safe itself. And there's nothing under the box. So here's how it goes ahead and looks like. We got the logo right over here, variety of buttons for the key code. Right over here, this is going to be where we put the key just in case either the battery dies or we forget the passcode. Uh, and then right here is going to be the biometric part where we go ahead and put our fingerprint. And just by the looks of it, this thing definitely feels really sturdy. It has some good weight to it. Uh, here we can see on the side, it's got this X indentation all over it, which looks really nice. We're going to have a flush back and then the same design on the other side. And as far as the bottom, there's going to be nothing going on here. And on the side, not much as well too. Now we can go ahead and open this up with these keys right over here. Right on the inside, we're also going to have a few things. So here's some batteries and screws. Here's this metal part and the key. So taking a look at the inside, we are going to have this soft padding and it does come out as you see here. And we're also going to have the same padding at the top, but this is actually going to be glued onto over here. So to go ahead and actually make this work, there's going to be a part right on the side here. And this is where we're going to go ahead and put the batteries that come included. So the cap just opens up just like this. Now I can go ahead and stick in the batteries right in here and then just cap this up there. And it was definitely easier to go ahead and take the foam padding out first to do that. So it's closed up. So instead of using the keys over here, we're just going to go ahead and put the code. So the default code is going to be one, two, three, four. And it should, yep, it opens up and it's cool. It lights up green, meaning it was right. And we have a nice blue light over here. And now if I went ahead and put the wrong code, yeah, it just goes red. Now, if I want to set my own code, there's actually going to be a button on the left side here. So when I go ahead and press it, these numbers flash. So I can enter four to six numbers. So I'll just put a new password of one, 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 and I'll press the button again. And now it's set. So now when I go ahead and close it and try to open it up, it goes ahead and works. And so now the coolest part would be to set the fingerprint sensor. So first I have to go ahead and open it up. So one, 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 and I can go ahead and press the set button and then just put a finger I want to register. So I want to register my middle finger. So I press it three times. One, two, three, and there, now it's set. So now when I go ahead and close it, so then now that this is all set, I can then open up with my fingerprint. I can open it up with a password. Or in emergency situations, if the battery dies, I can open it up with the key. And hopefully I won't need to use these. So overall, I'm impressed with the safe. It's really good build quality and I'm impressed in how easy it was to go ahead and set up. So now you can go ahead and store whatever you want, whether it be a phone, you know, some valuables and know that it's going to go ahead and be nice and safe in here.